Hey guys, today I bring to you this Seiko TV watch. I believe many of you do not familiar with this model. The model number of this watch is DXA001, which is the earlier version of the Seiko TV watch for sale in Tokyo and Osaka area only. Nowadays, many TV watch being exchanged in eBay are DXA002, which has a different outlook with this watch. I do not know how many units of this model has been produced, but this is a rare item for sure. I've never seen this model come with a box. Probably this DXA001 does not have a box with it. You know, in the 1980s, every television has a CRT inside, which is very bulky and large. So a TV wristwatch is a very high-tech thing at that time. That's why its price is very expensive and not affordable by ordinary people. For this part, I'm showing to you how to make use of the buttons of the wristwatch. The left hand side of the watch has a mode button. If you press one, it will go to the stopwatch. When you press again, it will go to the alarm setting. And when you press the mode button again, it will go to the time and date setting. If you press the button on the right hand side at the same time, it will activate or deactivate the hourly signals. Every Seiko TV watch has a watch, a receiver, and a cable. In the menu, there's a picture showing how to carry the watch and the receiver. The receiver looks like a Sony Walkman. On the top of the receiver, there's a tuning, the power button, the stereo mono switch, the stereo jack, and a cable connector. On the side of the receiver, there's a tuner for volume, the FM and T re switch, and a VHF UHF switch. On the back of the receiver, there's a brightness tuner. As far as I know, the receiver and the cable of the Seiko Wook TV watch are the same no matter is a DXA001 or DXA002. And now I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to have the image appeared on the watch. First of all, one needs to plug the cable with the receiver and the watch. Then plug the earphone on the receiver and switch on the receiver. Then you can see the image appeared on the screen of the watch. The next thing you need to do is to tune the receiver so that to receive the best image throughout the UHF and VHF channels.
Finally, I was unable to get a clear image on the watch. In my opinion, this Japanese digital watch are worth collecting because they were made for a lifespan of 30 or 40 years. Unlike the smart watches these days. Recently, some watchmakers like citizens are reissuing some old models like the ANA Digital 10 but I think these Seiko TV watches are less likely to reproduce because the TV signal these days has already changed to digital even if Seiko reproduce this kind of watch they will change the receiver to the digital receiver instead of analog one the second-hand price of this Seiko TV watch is very similar to that of the Apple watches, but they doesn't have the problem of software upgrade and a dying battery. That's why I suggest you guys to collect this watch without hesitation. Finally, thanks for watching this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.